good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Mandar Oak. I'm an associate professor and uh, head of the School of Economics. And on behalf of my school and on behalf of the faculty of professions in which we are housed, uh, I would like to welcome you to this open day and to our talk about the economics programs. I hope you have had a chance to attend other sessions and have a look at, around our beautiful university. And we are meeting here in, a, in an iconic University of Adelaide building, the Bonathan Hall. My previous lecture was in the Napier building, so compared to that, this feels like, like a big cathedral that I'm giving you a sermon in, but I would not do any such thing. I'll just talk to you a little bit about the School of Economics and uh, what makes it unique and what makes our program uh, an interesting program for you to study. So a little bit about the School of Economics first. So as I said, we belong to the Faculty of Professions. So we are a professional discipline. The other disciplines in our faculty are accounting, architecture, law, education, and so on. So we are, we are in that group. Um, the school itself is over 100 years old. So we have a long tradition of training economists, leaders, public intellectuals, and overall good citizens uh, knowledgeable in the field of economics for a long period of time. And having had such a long history behind us, we are proud to have as our alumni some of the very distinguished uh, names in the areas of business, government, diplomacy, and so on. So just to give you an example, uh, Australia's ambassador to China, who was uh, visiting Adelaide last month, and I had the good pleasure of meeting her, uh, is one of our students. Uh, so is the editor of the Australian Financial Review, Michael Stutchbury, uh, going from there to top officials in the Reserve Bank of Australia, Productivity Commission, Treasury, and also uh, people not so much in the limelight, but are doing very well in the, in the private sector, consulting groups, and so on. Uh, we are very proud to have them as our students, and we have been doing this for a long time. Another thing to keep in mind about the School of Economics is its uniqueness. We are the only school of economics in South Australia offering its uh, own Bachelor of Economics program. So we are what we call a monopolist, though we don't charge monopoly prices. And even among the group of eight uh, universities, there are very few that offer Bachelor of Economics as a specialist degree, and we happen to be one of those. Uh, the third thing to keep in mind is, like the University of Adelaide, we are research intensive. So we have, a, we have about 25 staff members uh, who have their PhDs and higher degrees from top universities around the world and al also from Australia. And research is what we are really known for. Research is what gets us the globally high rankings that uh, we enjoy. So you may have seen the news last week, University of Adelaide was ranked in the top 200 universities in the world. And such, a, such an impact, such a name recognition, um, not only speaks uh, well of us as researchers, but also helps you as students find jobs and career opportunities because of the name recognition it offers all around the globe. So these three things make us uh, a very distinctive uh, place. Let me talk a little bit about our program. And in talking about the program, let me bring to your attention three things. First is that economics is a foundational discipline. So even though we are in the faculty of the professions, uh, where the emphasis is on getting you job ready, teaching you accounting, marketing, practice of law, et cetera, the foundations of these are based on a few social sciences. And economics is one of them. So we are a foundational discipline. Second thing is we are a very open degree. So economics is something that you can do not only by itself, but also in combination with other interests that you have. So you can do economics as a double degree with accounting, with finance, with law. You can do it concurrently with other degrees in sciences, engineering, and so on. So you can give an economics flavor or economics foundation to other disciplines that you may be interested in studying. And the third thing to keep in mind is a global degree. So unlike professional degrees which have accreditation requirements that are very much grounded in the jurisdiction in which they, uh, they reside, our degree has global 
appeal and global recognition, in part because of our research that I talked about in, uh, uh, recently. So let me, with that introduction, just tell you a bit about our programs. And I'm trying to see how it. Yes, here it is. So we offer a large number of programs. The Bachelor of Economics is our uh, undergraduate program, which, as I said, is unique in South Australia. It's a three-year degree. We have a new program called Bachelor of Economics Advance that I'll talk about uh, in, a, in, a, uh, in a bit. We have Bachelor of Economics that can be done in double degree format with other degrees, which also I'll talk about. After the three years in economics, uh, students who do well are invited to come and do honors degree with us, which is the, which is the fifth degree here written, fourth degree here written, honors in economics. And then we offer postgraduate degrees leading on uh, up to the PhD. So we have a whole suite of degrees from undergraduate to the highest qualification uh, on offer. I'm not going to tell you what is economics. I can go on for, uh, uh, for a couple of hours about it. But instead, I invite you to visit our website. A few years ago, we had a competition uh, where students were asked to make a short video or a short essay about what's economics, and the winners were selected, and the videos are uploaded there. You can find more about what the discipline means, what kind of jobs are available, uh, example of a recent uh, graduates, and so on. So as I said, economics is an open degree. What it means is that within our course plan, there's a lot of space to put other measures. For example, accounting, if you're interested in business world, Development studies, if you're interested in social sciences, or if you have a science or engineering flavor in mind, you can study environmental science. So all of these uh, specializations have economics as foundation, uh, or can provide economics, uh, economics can provide foundations to them. So it's an open degree. In addition to these um, courses, you can also take nine units of broadening electives, which give you uh, a chance to take subjects not only within the faculty of professions, but outside it. The Bachelor of Economics degree is meant for high achievers who have ambition to become economists, professional economists down the line. So the, so the degree is for those who have strong analytical and quantitative skills and are interested in developing research potential further. So this is a degree in which you get to interact in small classes with our research active staff members. There'll be a lot of hands-on experience and also opportunity to meet with a um, lot of researchers that keep coming in and out of our school for their public lectures, research visits, and so on. This is, a, this is an exclusive degree. Uh, the intake to it is limited. So we are currently looking at people with ATAR of 95 or above and uh, hope to take about 20 students. However, if you don't make the cut, there's no need to be disappointed, because if you get a GP of five or more in our regular economics degree, you can transfer into this degree. So um, this degree, again, has multiple entry points into it. And within this degree, in, um, you know, in keeping with our theme of an open degree, you can specialize in uh, or do a major in finance politics and international studies, or social sciences. Coming back to our main degree, the, the Bachelor of Economics, in every degree there are eight courses you are supposed to take each year. Economics uh, is same, of which uh, you are required to take four courses as core, the principles of microeconomics, principles of macroeconomics, a business economics and statistics course, which is a course in quantitative methods, and then a course in uh, the, 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 the two electives that I have mentioned at the bottom are either international financial institutions and markets or Australia in the global economy. So these courses are about uh, how Australia links with the global economic order, and this is very important for us, and you'll see down the line the word international or global keeps appearing in a lot of our electives because that's where we have positioned ourselves as a global degree. To find a good job and to have a career will take you not only 
outside Adelaide, but most likely outside Australia. And one of the things we emphasize and take pride in in our degree is its global appeal. So moving on to the second year, um, the things become a bit more specialized. The courses you do are of a higher quantitative, um, quantitative appeal, a quantitative ingredients, intermediate micro, intermediate macro, econometrics, and mathematical economics. And again, in terms of electives, you have international trade and investment policy, East Asian economies, financial economics, and thinking strategically. So these courses, uh, again, provide you with more advanced knowledge, either in international areas of trade or global economics or in areas such as finance or, uh, or strategy. And this is, the, this is where the program really opens up. So if you're interested, for example, in more business-like degrees, you would take thinking strategically because strategy is important to business. And then you can go and take courses in strategic, uh, uh, strategic management, in marketing, in financial management, if you are interested in finance, and so on. Also, in the second year, we encourage our students to go on an exchange program in keeping with our, our global uh, perspective. So you can either spend a semester abroad. We have tie-ups with top universities around the world with whom we have exchange arrangements. So you can go and study there. Students from those places come and study with us. If you cannot fit in a whole semester worth of study abroad experience, you can take short two-week uh, study tours from as close as Singapore to as far as Latin America. We have study tours in uh, uh, in different parts of the world that, that we encourage you to go in. And courses such as East Asian Economies or Australia in the Global Economy will provide you a foundation or theoretical uh, knowledge which you can put to use and get real world experience by going on to these um, study abroad programs. And that's a, that's a good uh, part of our course design. And then going into the third year, the number of core courses shrink only to advanced uh, economic analysis or international economic history. And room opens up for specialization in different fields of economics. You can do trade. You can do development economics, <coughs> industrial organization, game theory, which is, again, strategic analysis, public economics, environmental and resource economics or finance. And uh, mix and match these specializations with corresponding disciplines or corresponding courses in other areas in the university. So for example, a good combination, if you're interested in development, would be to take the development specialization in, uh, in this degree, and then go over to, the, uh, to social sciences and do a course in development studies, maybe history of colonization and decolonization. So this can give you a more complete uh, suite of courses uh, for somebody interested in uh, area of development. Similarly, if you're interested in finance, you can do courses in the business school or courses in mathematics uh, or statistics in addition to the specialization in finance. So this is how our, de our degree is uh, structured. Again, to, to stress the three points about our degree, it's a global degree. It's an open degree with a lot of flexibility to, to mix and match. And it's a foundational degree. So if you want to study economics you, I mean, one reason to study it is, of course, to, to make yourself marketable immediately to go and get a job. But economics is also a good foundation if you want to go and pursue higher studies in areas of business. So one study plan you might pursue is take a degree in economics, work for some years, and then come and do an MBA degree, either with us or anywhere in the world, or wherever your employment opportunities take you. Economics provides a good foundation for postgraduate studies in, uh, in different professional areas. So this is the main uh, structure of our program and the main points about it. For more information about our program and also the, our sister disciplines in the Faculty of Professions, you can visit our website. Or um, while you're here, I encourage you to just cross North Terrace and go into the tall building across, which is called Nexus 10. On the ground floor of uh, Nexus 10, you have booths um, uh, of different disciplines in, in the Faculty of Professions. We have economics, marketing, management, law, accounting, and so on. So 
uh, I encourage you to go and visit them. You have my colleagues from uh, my school, but also from other disciplines waiting there for you. If you have any questions, they'll be able to answer uh, your questions. They'll also be able to provide you with brochures and, st and further ma material, further information. Uh, and I'm here um, after the talk to take questions from you as well. So thanks a lot, and again, uh, oh, good luck. <laughs>